So if they have that sector, you can believe your buttons that there's uh, an entire sector dedicated to weather weapons. And there's graphs of things, hurricanes that pop up out of nowhere when they shouldn't. It's just like these diseases in the forest that there's one chance out of 80, 800 million that they would happen naturally. And then these drug companies have the um, exact shape of the um, counterpart of it before it even happened. So the likelihood of this in occurrence is 888 million times two from one chance of happening, and it did. So that scale is beyond belief. But it's with this scale that when in the um, different religions, they say like how the fire of the God, the rainmaker is like the gods like getting angry. In um, all totality with Christianity, it would be where um, God has his like feet on the planet Earth as his footstool. And this is fitting because in uh, digitized it's really that easy. If you have a short range of something, the technicalities of digital are one that uh, are like really fantastic as opposed to when things are spread out and you're doing the mechanical. You want it to be bigger. That's why factories are big. But when it comes to fine tunes of your autonomy, you can't get as big as you want. You know, I le thought I felt big today, so I wore three shirts. Is anyone even going to notice I'm wearing three shirts and are bigger? Probably not, because I'm all skin and bones at this point. But I had a neck injury, and sometimes when I'm going hard, my neck will make these weird clicks. And I don't know if it's like spinal fluid getting an adrenaline rush but you would imagine uh peter parker and the spider-man he had a he had a spider bite and so my neck had like this one rage thing where it was like a threat was coming like behind my shoulder and it just happened i'm like did peter parker have his spider bite act up and that was his spider senses we would ask stan lee but once stan lee died they sold Marvel to Disney, so we can't really ask him. And it's a shit on his grave that Disney bought a Marvel right when Stan Lee, the creator of Spider-Man, died. And so it's this, and then when people, their spider senses, they're putting patches on their arms. Uh, I don't know what this means, but one guy told me he puts like a patch underneath his... Uh, One person told me he puts a patch, a device underneath his girlfriend's arm and it's stitched in there and it's birth control. So if there's that, that's an occurrence. You can believe your buttons that China has these weather weapons. All they do is work on it every single day and they've got, uh, I don't know, meteorologist times 12 because they've got all the money from us buying up all their goods at any holiday store. I mean, retail store that sells holiday stuff. And here's a side note. I work in retail and slowly but surely, grocery stores are being called retail. And I think it's because there's GMO and so much stuff. Everything in GMO is so uh, mechanical that it's basically a inanimate object, not even considered food. The amount of filler put in stuff. And so grocery stores, are now considered retail for that reason alone. Um, that's my personal opinion. And you can quote me on that 24-7. It's my new catchphrase. Better than not. Not for nothing. Um, but yeah, these uh, meteorologists in China, it's what um, you look at any of these retail stores when it's holiday season, all of the products are made in China. You go into a bike store, every item in there is made in China. And the guy said, yeah, China bought up all of our bike major labels. Uh, it's only a few small labels that we don't even carry that are made not in China.
And so with all this money that China has, it's going into the gay people in my vlog and a negative connotation. And it's just because it's the sign of the times is where they're being protected in a science community, the hierarchies and globalism. They want to know and have control over what body autonomy is because it isn't defined in what pain is. We can't do this, not even in a court of law. And so not even in a description for a doctor's note, it doesn't qualify. So when you have these people taking hormones and changing their gender and replacing, uh, sewing a, a uterus into their body and saying that it's changing the chromosomes that they're born with, this is a technology, uh, I wouldn't call it an advanced, but it is something that is towing the lines of what is technology. Because human autonomy and DNA are mechanical, very mechanical. And so I'm just doubling down and saying that's where I'm coming from because this next bit I'm never going to address again. It's just it occurred and I found a way to make it double because I'm kind of going through the same thing. Not really though. Now day and age, it's revenge of the nerds and all of this things in the 90s, it was gay people weren't that cool. And nowadays it's if you speak bad on one, uh, you get canceled on TikTok. Good thing I canceled my TikTok because I learned it was being ran by China. So F that. I said the word F inside of police department at least 12 times in front of, oh, I don't know, a handful of their personnel. And not one of them batted an eye because they had a dog behind a door right in the lobby barking its head off because they had a trash bag full of Qdoba. And this trash bag full of Qdoba, uh, they were not in their break room eating it. They're just behind the glass eating it. This dog smells the chicken. I'm like, what are you eating, guy? He says, oh, I don't know, chicken something. I'm like, this dog is probably drooling. Okay, so there's that. But back to the um, gays. Uh, it's them and then Revenge of the Nerds. This is this whole thing. In the 80s, it was cool to be cringe. Nowadays, in modern time, if you're cringe, people click off and they don't want to hear about it. But now more than ever, it's um, things that you wouldn't think that are, but actually are there uh china i don't know it's the ccp i can't like uh give the definitive answer of the names of the personnel there but it is uh known that china does not like anyone in their water uh coastline because they're running weather weapons they've dedicated now if you don't know the could get canceled for this but they've got underground uh, people who work for them and they're from like other countries Call it what you will fun fact in Milwaukee. It's not a fight club underground. We've got underground bowling But in China, they've got these people who work for them and the sweatshops Yeah, we can say so everyone knows they have sweatshops and suicide nets, but there's these people underground who work in China and um, And this with your bodies being a supercomputer my foot got broken so it was inflamed for four months in a boot, it finally went down. And I was so scared because your blood clot, it can, when it goes down, go into your uh, body in places and get clotted up in myocarditis. But when my ankle nowadays it is coming off of being inflamed, it never was, but it still thinks that my foot's inflamed. It's so tight and it probably will be for the next three weeks. Similarly with this memory is my neighbor, she had vertigo inside your head it's you feel whenever you bend over like you're on top of a cliff and then she hit menopause and it switched from a vertigo into a migraine actually it's reversed she had a migraine menopause and then now she has vertigo and doesn't have migraines so these things that are switched with memory your body's computer these things are actually computing because if you've got weather above your head there's never weather it doesn't ever stop and then you've got people putting devices under their skin 
or patches that they wear every day as a thing. And so then there's two things that aren't really that prevalent, but they're always occurring. You can believe your buttons that when you put two and two together, it's more often than not a thing, even though it shouldn't be.